This morning, the U.S. finalizing retaliatory strikes for Sunday's drone hit here in Jordan that killed three American soldiers and wounded 47 others, the majority of the wounded National Guard soldiers. The deadly strike, one of nearly 170 attacks aimed at Americans in the region by Iranian-backed militants, the latest in the Red Sea. The U.S. conducting self-defense strikes in Yemen on a Houthi drone ground control station and 10 one-way drones. Just hours earlier, the USS Kearney shooting down an anti-ship ballistic missile fired by the group, in addition to three Iranian drones in less than an hour. U.S. forces also striking down a Houthi surface-to-air missile Wednesday, which officials say presented an imminent threat to U.S. aircraft operating in the area. This after the USS Gravely intercepted a Houthi missile heading toward the ship, splashing into the sea within only one mile of the warship, the closest call yet. Now all eyes waiting for the response to the tragic attack in Jordan, with the White House for the first time blaming the Iran-backed militant group Islamic Resistance in Iraq, an umbrella group of numerous militias. The Pentagon preparing to unleash a multi-day, multi-target campaign, bigger than anything seen this far, in hopes deterrence will prevent more loss of life. President Biden calling Oneida and Sean Sanders, whose 24-year-old daughter Kennedy was killed in the attack. I know, uh, you know, everybody, uh, I, I know there's nothing anybody can say or do to ease the pain. I've been there. Yes, sir, we understand. The parents overcome with emotion when the president reveals how their daughter will be honored. We're promoting her posthumously to sergeant. Oh, wow, Thanks, that is sir. the best news I've heard today. Thank you so much. You don't know how much that means to us. Oh, well, I tell you what, it means a lot to, a lot to me. Uh, my son spent a year in Iraq until I lost him. And, uh, I, uh, you know, one percent, one percent of all these kids are the ones that, uh, we're going to take care of 99 percent of us.